Practice Management, Custom Billing Codes and Group Codes. At times, a practice may need to create custom or non-standard codes um, or groups of codes, referred to sometimes as a panel. Um, maybe you have local scenarios, for instance, that um, whenever the doctor does a certain procedure or a patient presents with a certain um, set of symptoms, there's always the same set of tests that you bill for um, or the same set of, of items required to perform a specific procedure. And there may or may not be applicable AMA codes for you. Um, if there are applicable codes, maybe it's just time consuming to sit there and enter five or six separate codes times 10 or 20 patients a day. So you wanna create what's called a local panel or a billing group. Um, or maybe it is something unique. You sell something over the counter, for instance, and there is no standard AMA code. Uh, maybe it's not even covered by insurances, but you still want to bill for it so that you can submit it um, to your patients. So you need to be able to create custom CPT codes. Um, that's what we're going to cover in this video. So I'm actually logged in here as an administrator, but what I'm about to cover, anybody who has the biller role will have the ability of performing this function. Um, first of all, we're going to define the custom code. So I'm on the settings configuration menu and under our codes column, we're just going to go to our CPT master and we're just going to simply click the add new button here at the bottom. Now, um, with most master files, once you are inside a record, you do also have the ability of adding a new record here in the upper left by clicking the icon. Now you'll notice on our blank page, it starts off here in custom mode. The code is unique for each one that you create and it is mandatory. It is a 10 digit field. Uh, locally, you can define how you would like to. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna create a suture panel and we're going to create one uh, for a complex wound. You may also have simple wounds and immediate wounds. Maybe you have anesthesia panels. Uh, breathing treatments, uh, whatever's relevant in your practice. So let's say we're going to do a complex wound and we want this to be a suture panel for a complex wound. Now that's all that's required. All these other names are going to default to what I typed in. Um, once I click save, if you notice this billing group button here in the lower right that is currently disabled, as soon as I click save, that button will become enabled. Now, if I only need a singular custom code, I have just done that. You'll notice at the top where it says save successful and the word custom has now been changed to non-standard. That means that I have now saved a new code in my CPT master and it has been saved as non-standard to distinguish it from a standard AMA code. Uh, that way when your standard AMA codes are updated every year, your custom codes are not affected. You also will be able to add these into your fee schedule if needed. Uh, and in fact, if you are going to bill for these, there is a property at the system level that will need to be enabled and you will need to interface these new codes to your fee schedule so that they're able to pop up on a claim. Now, if you want to create a panel, which we're doing in this exercise, the second step after you have saved the code is to go into this billing group button. This is now going to allow you to select multiple individual codes and add them to this new panel code or group. So I'm gonna go in here and now select six individual codes individually. I'm gonna go into my billing group search, which brings up the CPT hit pick master combine. And since I said this is for a complex wound repair, I'm gonna click my complex wound repair CPT code. Then we're gonna bring in our surgical tray. We're going to bring in our wound cleanser. And again, we're just creating this for the ease of data entry. Every time the doctor does stitch, um, sutures, for instance, he, he's always billing for these same things over and over again. The syringe, uh, maybe he's always going to inject lidocaine locally while he's doing the suture repair. And then finally, we're also going to always give a tetanus shot on the complex ones. Um, so I've just created a very simple, singular custom CPT code called Suture Panel for Complex Wound that has six individual CPT codes for the tetanus shot, the lidocaine, the needle tray, the surgical cleanser, the surgical tray, and then the CPT for doing the procedure itself. Now notice in my new non-standard code, my billing group has a check mark on the label to indicate 
that it is not only a non-standard code, which I can now update into my fee schedule, but it has all of these individual components associated with it. Now in this video, I'm not going to discuss updating the fee schedule because that is covered in a separate video. Um, so we're going to assume that you've already updated these new custom codes into your fee schedule, and we're going to now look at the two scenarios for getting the charges on your claim. One is for those of you who use the EMR side, and it will automatically cross over when your claim is created from EMR. And then the second scenario would be for practice management only users when you add the charge directly to your claim. So for those of you who use EMR, I'm going to go ahead and open up my patient Cookie Lion. And we're just going to go directly to her assessment and say that the doctor has done this complex wound repair on her. We're going to go to the CPT Hick Pick. Um, click on her custom tab and you'll notice there's my complex wound panel that I just created. And you'll notice that I'm only choosing the complex wound repair. So that's the only one that's going to show here on my assessment. However, when I create my claim and it crosses over to practice management, we will see all of the individual components on the claim. So I'm going to toggle into billing now and we see here that her claim is ready to bill. So I'll go ahead and open her claim and notice here, instead of the singular CPT code complex wound repair, notice we have all six CPT codes. Now the second scenario is for those of you who use practice management only. Um, so we'll say Lucius Lyon, notice his claim doesn't exist yet. So we're gonna go ahead and create his claim from scratch. Uh, and again, I'm not going to go into detail for this because it's already is covered in a separate video, the details of creating new claims. So when you are on the claim screen, you simply choose your new CPT code. Again, we go to our custom and we select it. And when we go to save it, we're going to notice that it explodes into all six of our charge items. So in review, with regards to custom billing codes and group codes, uh, you are able to define custom CPT codes. And then if applicable, you have the billing group button enabled, which allows you to add individual codes, including modifiers if needed. Uh, there are properties that you need to be sure are enabled by the system administrator to allow the billing of these non-standard codes. And you need to make sure that you get them updated into your fee schedule accordingly. That concludes this video within the series. Please click the appropriate link below for your next step. If you'd like to take a quiz, you will receive your results in real time directly on the screen so that you can see how well you've done. If you answer incorrectly, the system will prompt you with the correct response. In addition, a confidential email will be sent to the education team to help us better serve you with our educational offerings. Second, advance to the next video within the series you're currently in. And finally, return to the video library main page. As always, feel free to contact us through the Resource Center or email with any additional questions or comments.